For the longest of time, I never really thought I could tell my story. People have honestly asked about, hey, you're black, you're gay, you're in the South. There has to be a story. <laughs> the books, the mentors, they teach you to tell your story. But if I'm being honest, baby, I never thought I had a story to tell. <laughs> You see, I would just walk around, knock on doors, and whichever door opened, I would walk in as though I belong. <laughs> and those of you that know me, you know I'm telling the truth on that. <laughs> I'm just saying. But when you start to truthfully discover your story, something in you changes. Something changes. I've recently discovered that I'm no accident. My bravery, my, my confidence, my, my compassion, my love for other people. That wasn't an accident. But let me let me go back a little bit further. Let me break it down to you. I'm gonna start with this house really quick. <laughs> this house, um, people have honestly pulled up and considered it to be a mini mansion. I will definitely say that it is far more house than my husband and I would ever need. And there are so many more amenities than what we initially asked for. But what you don't see is that this was three years in the making. We had to get our careers together. We had to get our credit together. <laughs> we had to get our marriage together. Let me go to my marriage, my hubby. <laughs> what you don't see behind this marriage that quite often keeps people out of it. What you don't see is that it was 10 years in the making, 10 years of dysfunctional relationships that had me on the, on the bathroom floor, crying my eyes out, calling my mother, begging her to just simply pray for me. so that I can learn and discover that I needed to have a level of communication as the foundation of our marriage. Let me go back a step further. My parents, honey, I can't speak for a lot of people, but I was planned. I was asked to be here. My parents discovered Gust me. They planned for my arrival. I am no accident. Baby, let me go back a little bit further. Doing my research, I discovered that the Spanish flu was a, a major milestone or destruction in our history. It infected over 500 million people. It killed, killed well over 20 million people. And 675,000 of those people were right here in the US. What really interested me is that the Spanish flu lasted from the spring of 1918 and ended in the early summer of 1919. My grandmother, was born May of 1919, which means that my great-grandmother endured one of history's most traumatic storms and still found a way to give life. I'm by no means 
I repeat, I am by no means an accident. So what, we, we from the middle class, I must say this, we, we learn differently. We think differently, we behave differently. But that's okay. It's not just the, the wealthy, it's not just those that, that came from unbearable, unspeakable circumstances. It's not just those people that matter. But we in the middle class, we matter as well. Our stories matter as well. Please allow me to inspire you even just for a moment to go and discover your story. Because baby, you are no accident. Not by any means. One other piece of advice that I would like to share is by all means, along your journey, remember to make every decision with a level of integrity. Because that will lead you to your freedom. I love you guys as always. Thank you for allowing me to share my story.